Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I was getting bored and I wanted to use my Emacs. So I wrote this project cook 50 uh, and I just want to show you guys just for, you know, I'm just, I just want to waste your time. You know what? So, all right. So this is uh, the project. I hosted it on bugswriter.com, like cook50.bugswriter.com. And to host this, I had to, you know, study how Nginx works. So it was like a good learning opportunity for me. And I enjoyed writing this. I will add this to my resume as a young CS student. Uh, it's it's good to write projects like this to learn things. Now I'm used to write uh, projects bigger than this. Like I I was a web dev, like not a professional web dev, but yeah, I wrote some projects. So in order to like let me go through this website. So you can register obviously, and then you have to log in. So let me log in. And uh, what this is actually. So this is like a virtualized cookbook and uh, you see i'm logged in so you can see all the recipes you can click on the link uh like for example chole puri recipe all right so yeah this is it like this is the cookbook you can re remove something you can add the recipe you know add recipe like palak paneer uh, let me you know and i will also show you my emacs uh, in a second because uh, the main purpose of writing this project was to use emacs all right so i will show you the workflow uh just for fun like uh, all right so value should be less than 10 so five all right so you can see you can add recipe shopping list you can add any you know item like uh, you know so for example like there are a lot of items meal planner where you can plan the meal so for example in the lunch i want to eat uh, you know anything so so you can delete stuff all right so this is not working for me okay so let me show you my emacs all right so by the way the that was the only thing which was not implemented yet the delete functionality in the cook 50 so other things are working oh i have to log in again and i got inspired to create this project by watching this video of the, this uh, she uh, this girl Dale, she created this cookbook so I, I i just picked the idea and i created this so but the main thing is i did this just because i wanted to use my emacs so let me show you like uh, my programming environment like um, you know in case if you are interested like just wanted to show so in the code directory i have this cook50 directory and i have main two files this crud.py which is basically the functions to interact with the database so for example register user check uh, login credential everything which requires sql query i did this here and i let me just close this window and uh, yeah vertical window so this another file routes.py which is basically handling the routes all right so any route like register route and login route and i am used to uh, open one terminal too so usually i have this terminal open nc term uh let me full screen. all right so this is my terminal and everything whatever i do it i do inside emacs in order to do programming now you might wonder why i have this toolbar i mean who have toolbar like nobody have toolbar but i like having it i don't use it but i like having it because i like old school kind of stuff but normally what people do is they just remove the toolbar and remove the menu bar and scroll bar too this is what normally people uh you know uh, like to have their emacs but in my case let me close my emacs so uh, let me close it all right open this again in my case i like to have the toolbar and everything i only have 23 packages and in the starting of this project i was using vim key binding so i was using evil mode but then i get bored and i was like uh, let's just use Emacs commanding. So uh, I can use Emacs commanding, Vim commandings both. So sometimes I use Vim commanding, sometimes I use, you know, Emacs commanding. It's just up to me. And one more thing which I want to show you is Maggot, which is one of the best packages inside Emacs. Uh, the thing about Maggot is, let me open this. So this is Maggot and you get basically Git. So people can use Git from uh, Maggot. And the thing about Maggot is that it's better than git cli which is such a great thing like i i can't explain you this but if someone who understand what maggot is like he knows what i'm talking about all right so i used maggot in order to manage uh you know my project with uh, my git github like i have this on github so 
you know cook 50 and if you are a young cs student you should write some projects in order to you know get a good job and i will encourage you to write projects always make your github strong this is the only thing which is going to increase your worth all right so uh i managed my git with mac git all right so i can just uh, you know state changes and the good thing about mac git is i can uh, look what changes i did uh, so for example if i want to see recent commits if i you know pull some commits from my you know remote repository i can press enter and then i can go through all the changes and these are some features which makes emacs really awesome all right so you can see i can look all the changes uh, which are done on the file so this is what uh, i love about emacs this maggot uh, you know package also org mode but i'm not going to talk about org mode uh, and i i used to change themes a lot so in case if you uh, don't like the theme this is like a light theme there are a lot of themes i don't know why every time i make emacs video i end up showing you themes uh, i don't know all right so uh, this is how like i do programming i used to have uh, two files open in one terminal open and emacs have this buffer so you can see the buffer list so usually i manage these buffers and this is the kind of environment i'm used to in order to write projects and uh, you know it's good to you know practice the editor and just to write some projects in order to practice the editor so uh, in case like if, if you get a job a programming job so you don't uh, lag with your editor or stuff like that so uh, if you are even on vim you should practice and that's it like i just wanted to show you and uh, that's what i did i wouldn't have been trapped inside this hell that holds me maybe if i cast another spell told them decorations were in pastel ribbons maybe it's a cool joke on me whatever